Now the fun starts with images. We're going to import some images. We're going to flip images to the left so the content can go to the right. Yada, 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 yada. So let's get started with this. Let's take this file and save it as, save it as version 11. Eventually, when I'm done with this video series, I'll post the files for you guys to look at. Now, what I'd like to do is I want to put my company picture logo up here on the top left. So I'm going to take my cursor and put it right next to that H1 tag. Now, very important step here, guys. Let's talk about something here. Images, anything you do for this site has to be part of your root folder. What do I mean by that? Okay, this is your root folder, inside website folder. I have three folders here. They're all tied to separate websites. So how do I know which one is mine? Well, we created something called My First Website. That's a big hint. But more importantly, because we set up our site in our very first tutorial series, I can just click Site Root, because I, I define it as a site root. What that means is everything to do with the site, content, videos, MPEGs, images, JPEGs, must be part of this folder or a subfolder of this folder. It can't be outside of the folder, it has to be part of this folder. So inside this folder, I have a folder called images. Inside the images folder, I have selected images here. So very important step here. You can't, unlike Dreamweaver, I'm sorry, unlike say InDesign or Quirk Express or Photoshop or any other program, it doesn't care where you get the files from. The web cares, Dreamweaver cares for very important one very important step. You're building an application to work on somebody else's computer, namely the web server, which is somebody else's computer. It's not your computer, it's the server. So those files have to be have to be part of one system, part of the root folder. So you just can't grab files from any place. If you try to do that, by the way, Dreamweaver will give you a dialog box and say you want to make a copy of that file to your local directory. If you say no, you're stuck. So I'm going to put my cursor right here. Okay, I'm going to go up to insert, insert image. The shortcut for that is command option I, but I'm totally okay with you going to insert image. Now we're going to navigate our way to the images folder. Inside the images folder, we have some thumbnails in here. We have some larger images and we have a thumbnail. So we're just going to pick thumbnail monkey on. Now watch what happens. It brings up this dialog box by default. Now this is an important dialog box to fill in for search engine purposes. Now what I typically do, I have four or five pictures of monkeys. I'm going to generically just type in the word monkey. Now, for search engine purposes, if you want to put specifically, let's say you have the South African tree monkey and the Brazilian nut monkey and my monkey on my trip to New York City, you could be as descriptive as you want in here. This is for search engine purposes. That's all it is. So I'm going to, okay. Then it's going to take that monkey and it's going to put the monkey here. Okay. Now, that's not the monkey I wanted to put there, and I did this by intention way. So how can I swap out that monkey for another monkey? Rather than go back to images, go through that whole process again, I could simply double click. I'm going to double click and I'm going to find my logo. Okay, so there's my logo. Okay, now here's a bit of a problem. I'm going to save that. Make a change. Save a change. Okay, what's the name of this tag? This tag is called the IMG tag, image tag, because it's an image. I want this image to go to the left, and I want my logo and tagline to go to the right. So how can I possibly, possibly do that? We've done this throughout this video series, okay? If you want something to go to the right, you float it to the left. If you want something to go to the left, you float it to the right. So what are we going to float to the right? We're going to float this tag. What's the name of this tag? It's right here. It's the IMG tag, and it's alternately named monkey. So how do we do this? Now, this is a very important thing to pay attention to here because I don't want to write it based on these this, this selector structure. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to select the tag. We're going to come over here to the right. We're going to make a rule. We're going to make a rule to select the tag. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to say less specific. Don't fall prey to what Dreamweaver assumes that you want to do. So let's understand something. Let's discuss this. I don't want to make a rule inside an H1 tag. Because what if I change that to an H2 tag or an H3 tag? Therefore, the rule structure is not going to be the same. But I do want to create a rule structure specifically for branding. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to kill the H1 tag here. Now, of course, that doesn't kill it on the page. It's just the structure, the way it was written. Because by default, if you look down here on the left, Dreamweaver assumed that you want to write an image tag with image tag inside of H1, H1 inside of branding. That's not correct. That's not what I want to do. I'm just going to say image inside of branding. That's how I want to do it. So you can choose to do this any way you choose. You don't have to take Dreamweaver's suggested way of doing the path. So I hit OK. Then, based on these choices, this IMG tag, IMG tag inside of branding. Based on these choices, I go to box. Based on these choices, I float to the left. I float the IMG to the left. So if I apply this, the content goes to the right. So the content goes to the right. But I don't want the content smashed up against the image here. So margin space is outside of the box. Padding space is inside the box. So margin space to the right, we're going to do this at on M space and hit apply. Now, that's a little too far away, so let's let's cut this in half. Let's see, we can say part of like two. Okay, now because it's not pixels, it's not going to do the math for us. That was pixels that would have done the math for us. We're going to say 0.5 and apply. Now, you also want to just have this logo punch a little bit. So we're going to put a simple thin white Border. So how can we do that? We go to category, border, border, solid, solid, one. Now if I hit the apply option, by default it's going to be white because of branding tag. Very important step here, guys. The branding tag defaulted to white. So therefore, this defaults to white. So I didn't have to make this white. The defaults to white. Very important step. You don't want to create... Dynancies. You don't want to create more work than what you, what you need. Okay, so I'm going to make this two pixels and hit OK. So it just pops a little bit. Okay, it could change, save or change. Now, important step here. We didn't talk about FTP. I have a whole series about FTP, file transfer protocol. But this, this my dear students, is a considered a dependent file. So if you publish it to the server, this is considered a dependent file. So you have to basically talk to the dependent file. Now, I want to share with you a very powerful technique here. I don't want to have to insert an image from scratch and insert the alternative name like we did before. I don't want to have to go to insert image, input an image, do that, ask me for the alternative name, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to show you a quicker way. We're going to take, we already have an image. I'm just going to copy the image, and I'm going to paste the image, say, right here. And I'm going to paste the image right here. And I'm going to paste the image right here. And I'm going to paste the image right here. Okay. Now, for all practical purposes, I have a bunch of monkeys. Okay. So I don't have to reestablish this alternative tag by filling this in. So I'm just going to double click, and I'm going to go double click, I'm going to go get thumbnail monkey one. I'm going to go down here, double click, and get thumbnail monkey two. I'm going to double click, and get thumbnail monkey three. I'm going to double click, I'm going to get thumbnail monkey four. Okay, now the same issue I'm having here. I don't want the this to go to the baseline. I want this to go to the left. So how do I get content to go to the right by floating this to the left? Now, important step here. I could have set an IMG tag for the entire site. If I set an IMG tag for the entire site, then it would follow these rules. It would follow these rules. So let's actually do that. Let's keep this very simple. I'm going to create a IMG tag for the entire site. So how do I do that? How do I do that? I select the tag. I select the tag. 
I'm going to select this IMG tag. I select the tag and I make a rule. Now again, it's the same IMG tag. Even though there are four different monkeys, it's the same IMG tag. So we're going to establish a rule for the entire site, for the entire site. So I can say less specific, less specific, less specific, less specific. And I'm going to say the entire site, whenever I have image, period, I want this to float to the left. So if it floats to the left, I want to enlarge the space to the right of, say, 0.75 M spaces. Again, M is equal to the height of where M. And I hit OK. Okay. So there is my floating to the right. Floating to the left, content goes to the right. Floating to the left, content goes to the right. So it goes to the right, goes to the right, goes to the right. So if you wanted to put, I'm just going to copy this monkey a couple of times and put it down here, just so you have something to look at. Okay, now, what's happening here? Well, unless you want this crazy effect, which I don't, this is happening because the, the um, image tag is inside the paragraph tag, so it's taking on the paragraph formatting. So how do we solve this problem? Very, very, very simply. We select the image, we go to code, and we can see that this image tag, we selected it first. It's inside the paragraph. We don't want it inside the paragraph. So I'm going to cut it from here. I'm going to go outside the paragraph and paste, cut, paste, cut, paste. Therefore, back in design mode, image tags outside of the paragraph. That's how I solve the problem. So technically, this is also inside the paragraph. So if you know that you for sure don't want your images inside the paragraph, cut and paste outside the paragraph. But in this particular case, we're fine. But in the case of the indent there, it took on the indent of that paragraph, which we don't want to do. So it's still indented, but I have this image here. Now, pay close attention to this. I decided that because this paragraph here has an indent. I don't want the image to float to the left. I want it to float to the right. So how can I get this image to float to the right? Okay, well, they're all IMG, so I can solve the problem by, yes, giving this image, this selected image IMG tag an ID. We're simply going to call it first image. Okay, so let's select the tag, select the tag, let's just call it F-I-R-S-T-I-M-G, return. So what does first image do? We're going to select the tag. We're going to select the tag and make a rule. We gave it an ID tag. We want this first image because it's inside of a first paragraph that is indented. It doesn't look good. We want to float this to the right. So how do I do that? I select the first image tag, select the tag, and make a rule, select the tag, make a rule, specifically for first image inside of main content. Okay. Now, pay close attention here. The parent tag, the parent tag is the IMG tag. IMG tag floated to the left. We cancel that out by floating this to the right. So that solves that problem. This floats to the right. But, very important step here. I, if it's floating to the right, I will have margin space to the left. So let's say 0.75 M spaces. But unfortunately, you can't see this right now, but unfortunately, this image, because the parent tag is the IMG tag, has margin space to the right. I don't want to have margin space to the right. So what do I put here for a value? I don't want to have margin space to the right. I just want to have margin space to the left. So what do I put value? Yes. Zero. Zero is a value. Now it doesn't have margin space to the right. Now it's not going to look funny. So main content should go up here after the H2 tag, image tag all by itself, image tag all by itself to up here on the top in the HTML section. So right after the H2 tag should go the image tag. And I need to clean this up too. Branding tag image should go after the H2 tags. 
okay? Make a change, save a change. So the site is really starting to come together now. It has different color schemes. We put divs inside of divs. We've assigned the uh, hyperlinks. We floated this little app so the content goes to the right. So we'll finish up another video. Stay tuned. Again, subscribe, like my video, send me some comments. Uh, uh, tell me what you need to know, and I'll help you every step of the way. Have a good day. Carpe diem. Oh, happy April Fool's Day, by the way.